Ernest Hemingway once said, wine is the most civilized thing in the world. I was surprised to discover that such civilization exists at a rural Iowa livestock farm with a vineyard. Buffalo, wine, and a bed and breakfast in a grain elevator may sound like an improbable combination, but they all fit together beautifully here at the Little Swan Lake Winery in Dickinson County. Well, where do I start at this eclectic destination with so many unusual offerings for visitors? A quick overview would be a nice walk uphill to see the vineyards. On the hilltop is a cozy circle of trees where the winery hosts weddings. There are overnight stays available in both the barn and grain elevator. But most visitors probably come for the wine here at Little Swan Lake and maybe to catch one of the weekly live music shows in the barn. But before the crowds arrive in the evening, I have a private wine tasting with staffer Billy James. This is the most popular wine that we have, Dan. This is called Buffalo Blush. It's a blend of locally grown grapes, a two reds and a white. I don't have the vocabulary, but how would you describe that one? Oh, it's a little tart, but it's um, um, a medium, a medium, not a dry. Very good. But I think it's it appeals to everyone. This next one is the most popular of the dry reds. It's, and called, it's called 29. A wine called 29? I'm told that was the ear tag number of the owner's first big buffalo bull. The bull image on the bottle and on all the Little Swan Lake wine bottles are the artwork of the owner's son, Joel. The winery here makes 30 varieties, so I obviously can't try every one. Besides, I'm anxious to tour the rooms in the grain elevator and barn, but first I want to learn where this idea came from. So I meet up with co-owners Scott and Diane Benjamin. Just kind of a wild idea. Uh, we were always going to move another barn in, add a barn to our barn, so we had a bigger venue. I'm used to uh, his ideas, and, and they usually work, so I don't worry too much about it. I always kind of wanted a tower. A local mover moved it, standing up, so we were moving a 50-foot tall, 70,000-pound building down the road vertically. The move went really smooth, lots and lots of measuring to figure out how many floors would work. They are built with lumber that's all stacked up, and so it's very, very strong. You can cut openings anywhere. Uh, it just it worked out pretty well. This elevator has two rooms. This one is called the Buffalo Room. Off the balcony is a view of, guess what, Buffalo. And just beyond the feedlot, this is a working farm. You can see Little Swan Lake. Back inside the room, there are amenities to spoil you. Basically, the rooms pretty much decided themselves what they were, they were going to be. Uh, this, you find the tub where then everything needs to go with it, and the bed just kind of went with it. The floor is boards from my great Aunt Bee's corn crib. But a lot of it just fit together. It just went. It, just, it created itself. One floor down is the swan room, and if you keep going down, to the lowest level, that's where you'll find much of the wine aging in oak barrels. By the time I finish looking around the elevator and the rooms in the barn, people start filling the wine shop. They're tasting and purchasing wine, then heading to the adjacent event room in the barn for the evening's entertainment. We found out about this from our friends in Minneapolis. They read an article in the paper, and they said, have you ever been to this winery? We said, no, we haven't. So from there on, it's four years that we've been coming every Thursday. On Thursday nights, my wine server from earlier in the day, Billy James, becomes the evening's headliner. So here's to We like to come to the entertainment and, uh, and have the meal on Sundays and drink a little wine. The best thing about this place is the buffalo feeds on Sunday night. 
You always know you're going to have buffalo, but you never know how it's going to be. Unfortunately, I'm not here on a Sunday night when buffalo dishes, I'm told, can range from burgers to stroganoff. But even without the buffalo meal, I'm not lacking in things to see, taste, and listen to here at the Little Swan Lake Winery. 